While India is still dealing with the COVID, uh, the dengue outbreak is now also piling on. Cases across states are rising. It's not just limited to the national capital. And that's why experts warn that dengue could be the next health emergency. The capital itself has registered over 1,100 dengue cases in just the first week of November. In Delhi, you've got dengue cases at 2,700 and counting. Hospitals clearly are overburdened and the crisis is only getting worse. Anisha Mathur and Amit Bharatwaj filed this report from Delhi. Delhi is facing another health emergency. The city has recorded 1,171 dengue cases in just seven days, taking the total tally to 2,708 for 2021. Nine people have succumbed to dengue in the last three weeks. Hospitalization has surged in the Lok Nayak Jay Prakash Narayan Hospital with more patients trickling in every day. This is the dedicated dengue ward where you could see the patients are admitted and their attendants are sitting right next to them. Uh, these are, if I'm not wrong, these are saline bottles which uh, they are being administered with. And uh, these are the critical care patients, by the way, because most of the patients, 80% of the patients do not need hospitalization. The staff who is cleaning the staff, who is doing the work, is not doing the right work. बहुत बुरी हालत थी अब भाई हमारा खड़ा है अपने पैरों पर बढ़िया शीत सैली है बिल्कुल ओके रिपोर्ट में आप हैं मतलब सही देखभाल हुई है भाई की हमारी मेडिकल व्यवस्थाएं हैं यहाँ पे वो ठीक थी या उसमें कोई कमी थी नहीं सारी सुविधा थी अच्छी थी अच्छी थी सारी सुविधा है सही अब तो बहुत आराम मेरी लड़की सही है while there's a spike in dengue cases doctors say not all patients need to be admitted to a hospital uh, the large number of uh, dengue patients are asymptomatic, more than 95% don't require hospitalization. So if you have a simple uh, viral fever and platelet count more than 50,000, most of these patients recover. But if platelet count is less than 20,000, if they have bleeding manifestation or if blood pressure is low, then they require hospitalization. And as I told you, that majority of the patients can be treated at home. The inflow of dengue patients is not just at the big hospitals. Even smaller clinics are feeling the heat. In Greater Kailash, Dr. Mohsen Wali has a steady stream of patients coming in. He got infected one week back. Uh, fever was there. So one of the doctor advised her to get him hospitalized as the platelet count was very low. So he treated uh, my father through the fluid treatments. Fluid treatment yeah, and yes. And within four days, the count was 36,000. And from 36,000, it will go to one lakh. In just four days, he, got, he get better a lot. Dr. Wali says early diagnosis is the key to beating the disease. When you have a body ache, because this is called bone-breaking fever, you have severe body ache, retroorbital ache, which is called pain behind the eyes, muscular pains, shivering a little bit, and sudden fever, high fever, then you clinically can go for a dinghy test, number one. Number two, the sooner you get diagnosed, start taking off plenty of fluids. Fluids is the best component to treat because intravenously also we give fluids. More than 1,100 new cases of dengue in the national capital as Delhi sees its highest dengue spread in the last four years. Experts warn that there may be more cases coming because of the late rain and waterlogging across the city. People are being warned to ensure that they keep their entire bodies covered prevent the growth of mosquitoes and if there is a fever or body ache to get tested as soon as possible. In New Delhi, this is Anisha Mathur for India Today.